you're not going to make up large deficits against this team with as powerful as their offense is. Alex Barcelo took the first shot. Kispert will do that for the Zags, and he knocks down the three. Swatted away. Ayayi will attack, and instead of challenging Harms, finds Kispert again, this time a little bit short. Long rebound. Gonzaga will get worried about the nine-point deficit right now. you got to try to get stops, and you want to find somebody that has the confidence to attack and be aggressive and find ways to score. That was good defense by the freshman loner against Kispert. Well, for these two teams, especially Gonzaga, the best shooting team in college basketball, best offensive team in the country, Corey Kispert, big reason why. And Kispert now up to five. Pretty impressive, I think. Umar Balo is also in the game for the Zags. Kisper at that time went right by Loner, but he came up short. Saturday night, 10 Eastern, that UFC 258 main card on ESPN Plus pay-per-view. Loner rebound, 12-point lead, under to be considered one of the best shot blockers in the game. Loner just had it taken away. Kispert is going to beat him down the floor. Kispert lays it in. For their offense overall, if there's a third matchup in a conference tournament, I think they're going to go look back and say, hey, Alex Barcelo was able to get here. How did we have so much success getting to like it's going to happen this year in Provo? Suggs again, but he missed that one. Timmy snatches away the rebound. Kispert quick release for three. And Loner finally snatches it down. Her system, BYU is basically a top 25 team playing on its home floor. Gonzaga's had some foul trouble. Corey Kispert's had his quietest game, although he knocks down that three. And yet they're up. Number one since the start of the season. Have navigated their way through the pandemic, remaining undefeated. Kispert wide open three, in and out. BYU got away with one there. Uncontrolled by Ayayi. I thought Jalen Suggs, I said it that night, in Provo looked like the number one pick in the draft. Kispert another three. That one well short. So Corey Kispert so far in Las Vegas, oh, she and so many of her teammates had. It decimated their roster. And she's made her only basket of the game. The game winner with .6 seconds left. Corey Kispert I was just so scores. Kispert, maybe this one will go down. No. I, I can't remember a rougher start to a game. Player for Gonzaga here in the first half. This is where having Andrew Nemhard though, does help. We've seen yes, him at times out again make that play. And Kispert, that will help too. Corey Kispert, nightmarish start for better. foul. Yeah, they're cutting better, Dave. They're shooting better, obviously, because the quality of shot they have is better. Here we go. Kispert three. That one well short. And it was that kind of half for Gonzaga. What a half. Jalen Suggs all the way right into the seven-footer and then lost the ball, saved it to Kispert, three, good from the corner. Yeah, he needs to get going. You're talking about two. Suggs had two in the first half. Nell had two. Harwood had two. Here's Kispert, another look, and he hits another one. Corey Kispert's look getting out. hot. That's bad news for BYU. Well, they're asking Loner because Kispert's playing the four right now. They're asking Loner to guard him, and he uh -oh. can't guard him. Corey Kispert is another one. <laughs> There's one thing we know about Gonzaga. They can throw a lot of points up there quick, too. And it's not like in the first half that they were trying to be disruptive and not allow the pace of the play to go. It was just that BYU was able to score. Now a steal by Timmy. The big man will bring the ball up himself. Finds the trailer, Nemhard. Now Kispert wide open again. Three, no. In, in consecutive possessions. It's two. Uh, Suggs. I, I think Suggs came over and affected that. He went way up in the air now. Kispert, blocking foul, count the basket, chance for a three-point play. No, here comes Jalen Suggs. Suggs has started to take over this game. Kispert, trailer three, no. Ayayi snaps the offensive rebound, and he was fouled. Can three missed a second in a row. Kispert trailed and got Fotu flying in the air with the shot fake, went all the way to the rim. And, and that's just awareness, great balance, plus 25-point night. I mean, he had 25 on Saturday. He had 26 earlier this year against Santa Clara. He's more than capable of doing it. In the last four games, averaging 19.5 points. If St. Mary's has any chance in...
gotten more than 65 in any game since December. Logan Johnson, well, they need a lot of that from him. Quick oh, wow. three in transition, but Kispert came up a little bit short. The, the ability of Sugg at the elite level footwork, but as Mark Few told us yesterday, he expected Drew Timmy to be able to come and make this, this impact. Another backdoor look from the big man, Timmy, as Corey Kispert goes to the to get to the outside. Kispert gets it back. He's always ready to shoot. Missed that time. And for the Gales. Timmy, every once in a while he'll shoot from the outside, but the Zags like it better when Kispert's the one shooting the threes. 7% shooting here in the first half. With four to shoot. Inbound to Kispert with a little shot fake. Bowen blocked it. Kispert got it back. That was good defense from the Gales. It turns into a shot clock violation. Defense around not allowing points in the paint. Dave, they, they live in the paint. They are one of the best teams scoring in the paint in all of college basketball, and that's a prime example of Drew Timmy's impact on the, on the block. There is such a business-like approach to what Gonzaga does. Dave, I mean, and, and how difficult is it in a pandemic season to bring this level and this effort on a to the bench? Sorry, Drew. <laughs> Kispert. You know, Corey Kispert, Sean, he, yeah, that's a, another good move by him. He spent a lot of time this year and stripped it away. Hand off to Kispert, who will lay it in off the glass. Beautiful that's basketball. Just, Continuity. The reality of sports often is if you don't get it done in that final game, you get remembered a little bit differently. But I'm with you. Corey Kispert from way outside. No good. And that's why it really comes down to your efficiency and how many winning plays you can make. Andrew Nemhard was swarmed there by the defense. His shot from Kispert goes down his first three of the game. It, oh, I don't think that was a travel, do you? No. Kispert, quick release, three. If that's a travel, then the post will be... Yeah, I don't think so. Jalen Anderson, freshman, has a chance to be a really good player. Kispert, they left him open. He didn't make him pay this time. Rebound, LMU. Jalen Anderson had a good look. Here come the Zags, and LMU is outnumbered. That's not a good thing against Gonzaga. Suggs looked it for Kispert. Just, I mean, just the aware... Third personal foul. LMU had a one-point lead. They got outscored 18-9 to after he went to the bench. He is very important for their chances. Long rebound grabbed by Jalen Anderson. And, and Dave step underneath to try to finish. Andrew Nemhard finds Kispert that quick release. Three goes down. He still doesn't count. Real close. <laughs> Kispert kind of weaving his way in. Good rebounding team, but you've got to put a body on somebody, especially Eli Scott. Uh, he's, he's the number one guy on the scouting report. Kispert couldn't quite get the friendly role, but Timmy... ...about culture. What makes culture within a program? One is it starts with the coach and the foundational pillars of a program, right? But the other aspect of it, Dave, goes to... Who hits the three? Kisper with the left hand, no good. Kisper, catch and shoot three. Not this time. They run so many there out of bounds. Kiss for three. Yes. An 18 footer. Kispert trailing. Shot was blocked. Williams got it. Ayayi feeds. Timmy on the high side gambles. Doesn't come up with it. Defensive weak side rotation a little bit late. Kispert unguarded. That's a good find. And Gonzaga's on the board. Three. Missed it. Suggs. All these Gonzaga guards can rebound. Kispert can flat out shoot. And he drills a 23 footer. 
That is vintage Gonzaga. Timmy, Kispert, Cook, along with Watson, Kispert in the lane, rises that's, and scores. That's where his game is really expanded. He came in as they deliver the ball. Frank, it's a quick trigger. Suggs fires at Kispert in transition. Wow. What a throw-ahead pass from Jalen Suggs. You know, the West Coast Conference had to really be aggressive and creative to get these two games, not only for good first half. Kispert. Ayayi got a hand on it. He is so good on the offensive glass. Didn't come up with the rebound, but he sensed the big Caruso wasn't taking care of the ball against the steal. Leads to another opportunity for Gonzaga. Suggs found Kissel one team in the country. Ben Gregg, Suggs launches a three, missed it. Look at Kisper, missed it there. Vrankic cleans it up. And the Santa Clara Broncos are dead even with number one Gonzaga. Suggs feeds. Timmy's doubled. Kispert launches. Got it. The balance on his jump shot. Kispert. Yes. Corey Kispert got in and hurt. A game earlier this year against Iowa. 18 rebounds. I don't think I had 18 rebounds in my career as a guard. <laughs> Kispert. Ten point lead, Nemhard around the screen. Ayayi. Good rotation. Kispert is deadly from there, and he misses the three. Caruso with the rebound. Land was actually coached by his dad, Joe. That's Kispert. That's Kispert! Get out in transition, and Suggs will find. Bulldogs have ridden Timmy inside. Last few possessions. Kispert misses. Rankich has the rebound. Santa Clara still within shooting distance. Under. Nembhard probing. Kispert shooting. Drills it. Just finding open. Very successful coach at Santa Clara. And Dan Fitzgerald. Fitz was the guy that really got things started here at Gonzaga, longtime coach, kind of planted the seed of his seasons as the head coach. How about this? Last five years, two Sweet 16s, two Elite Eights, and of course a trip to the National Championship game back in 2017 when they lost to North Carolina. Off the bench, Andrew Nemhard tonight starting his third consecutive game. And there's a turnover, and here they come in transition. Kispert will get it to go and a chance for three. Uh, overseas of one identifying talent and Gonzaga is not only a national brand now it's an international brand uh, players know about Gonzaga all over the world Kispert with a step back to extend the lead to not the fact that the West Coast Conference is not Big Ten Big 12 ACC caliber well Iowa looks like a pretty good defensive team on that list given the numbers <laughs> Gonzaga's yeah. put up against those other teams yeah Kispert leaning in doesn't get the bounce loose ball down to the Gales as junior lightweights can you I've give me can you, you make this multiple choice please well a lot of people say Floyd Mayweather I would say Alexis Arguello all right you are when they cut you know they'll, they'll have slot cuts vertical cuts uh, it's really it's really magnificent to watch how they play off one another just that that read right there by Timmy uh, off of the screen where he just pops not a, a competitive concern it's not the idea of picking one competition over the other and prioritizing the NCAA bubble event in Indianapolis over the West Coast Conference tournament uh, what Mark Hughes can and lays it in with the right hand he's a lefty did a nice job creating a little space on that drive as well Boy, Logan Johnson you, you mentioned he's a lefty he's from Mountain View California last two games he's averaging 16 points one a path to the basket that that is I happen to believe is really starting to, to hurt the game and I don't know if you saw the game. Did you see Kentucky Vanderbilt the other night and no, Keon Brooks's dunk that was 50% from the field? Uh, and he can block a shot coming over from the weak side. He's got good hands, but oh, what a great wow. pass! Wow.
Jeez, that was fantastic. That was right. Missed those 13 shots. <laughs> if you're Mark Few in all seriousness, what are you emphasizing right now? Other than, hey, guys, don't get complacent. What are you emphasizing to this team? In the corner, that was just an excellent pass by Tommy Kuzi. Kispert for three. And the long rebound down to Fotu. Cut back door, and the pass just wasn't quite, quite on the mark. Kispert in transition. He just gets right to that low. Josh Parrish with two would-be shot blockers, including the great defensive star Jalen Suggs right there. He scored anyway. Kispert dribbles inside the arc. Timmy offensive rebound. And whipped it right back to Kispert in and out. No good. Katera back in the game. That's a turnover. And now this happens. When you face the Zags, you turn it over like that, you give up that. Spacing wasn't even great in that. Georgetown got a big win over Seton Hall today. Complicated person, complicated legacy, but an extraordinarily important person in the history of college basketball. And he could have still gone up and gone through, but instead he enjoyed and celebrated the pass by making an easy one for his teammate. Kispert, three. Moved by Marion Humphrey to lay it in right with Suggs in his face. Humphrey, his, his minutes have decreased this year. He was much more productive as a freshman, had more opportunities. Uh, this year he's been a little bit less consistency as far as Naga players. They've been watching on TV all year long and seeing the success that they've had and had very limited opportunities to come and support and in per be in person. And I, I think it's great that they have a small expert that's with not a steal. True. Nobody is, Dave. Do not say that. <laughs> they probably <laughs> good with their foul. They're watching on the ESPN app right now. That's why she has her phone in her hand. She's watching on the app, and she probably won. The score didn't really change that much. That's phenomenal. Kispert. My parents just texted and said they want to go up to. How about Suggs? How about Kispert? Okay. <laughs> I'm just still, that's all we had to do to get Farnham to stop talking. We are incredibly thankful. <laughs> there, there are a few others I can think of that would fall in that category as well. Nice move by Kisper with the left hand. Moved inbounds nicely by Nemhard. Just wait for Drew Timmy to get on the block. Suggs kicked it out to Kisper. Rebound, Dons. Hmm. He's got a little margin for error. Josh Coonan lost it with the dribble. Here comes Kispert down the court, a little floater. No, too strong. Kispert, who hardly missed a shot against you. Yeah. All right, we welcome those of you who watch after his first basket of this game that he could be headed towards a 40-point game, and he may well be. Uh, if they just continue to feed him, because there really isn't anybody that can stop him on Stanford game so far for Gonzaga. I mean, that's that's a good offensive possession there, but show on two on-ball screens, get back, shrink the floor, everything's going the way that you'd want defensively. Zags love that. Problems, Timmy crashes the offensive glass, finds a Yai. Kispert pulls up for the long two. Another offensive rebound for Timmy. Got the deflection on the three. Ultimately, Zags come away with the ball. Kispert down the lane. Kispert flips it up. No good. Out of bounds off of USF. Sight set on trying to win a national championship in Indianapolis this year. If the Zags can get there and threaten to do it or do it, and it, 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 there's never a bad time to talk about Bill Russell. Down the, there's nobody who can score faster than Gonzaga. No. Kispert oh, lays it in with a foul. Dave, look at the look at the synergy and the movement without the ball. Oh, okay, efficiency. Uh, what about the level of play? Well, efficiency, the whole reason to have the efficiency numbers is because they adjust for level of play and venue and stuff like that. Kispert lays it in. Defense wins championships. Yeah, I think, you know, they're such a versatile or have a chance to be a versatile defensive team. You can switch one through four and even at times five with Timmy, depending on who you're matched up with. In. Nice separation on that.
crossover there. An all West Coast Conference freshman team a season ago, but you get the ball down the floor that quickly and find Corey Kispert, figure out his team. I talked to him earlier today on the phone, and he, he said, Dan, look, we had a 24-day pause. We haven't been able to practice. Kispert, the nice layup off the cut. But I like my pieces. I don't just don't know how they... From the line now to start this game. And really, you know, one of two. Oh, Kispert had a chance on that rebound off that free throw miss, but missed it. 23 to fivers. Crockrell inside, but lost the ball. Nemhard with it. Kispert transition three on the way. Bingo. This is where they're so <laughs> difficult is GU. Uh, you, he's 9 of 18 coming in on the season. Yeah, nice touch for a front court player to spell out. Kispert catch and shoot is off. Good challenge there from Bailey on the wing. Back to Ayayi, both ball poked away by Jenkins. Skipped to Kispert. Somehow it got through. Kispert's shot is blocked by Finstoon. So Zag ball with five. Kispert. I don't think the Pacific defense was ready. Ayayi had his hands on that ball. Now he's on the floor. He earns off, but missed it. Kispert trailing another three on the way. <laughs> Kispert with 14. He's three of four from. That's a tough one. I mean, Gonzaga and Baylor both had openings this past Thursday to maybe get it done after the game initially was canceled. But it would be impressive. It would be amazing places where he's the short roll guy being a playmaker as well. I think anybody in these day and age with that great pass behind the back. No way. But it was the pass. Defense collapsing in the middle. But to Finn finish the, no the thought on Timmy, I, I think he will need to con develop a little more consistent perimeter shot, maybe a corner three or a trail three. But Cook in the corner. Nemhart back around, Kisper, jumper coming, no good, rebound underneath, Calcaterra for San Diego. Three on the way, Calcaterra no good, too strong. Rebound, Joy Yai. Here's Kisper, he'll line up for three, no good, too short. Rebound to Sullivan. Kisper, Suggs. And now a steal, Suggs takes it away, leaves it for Kisper to get the dunk. Timeout, San Diego, it's a 10-0 run. In. This one's no good. Ayayi for Kispert. He'll take the three. Kispert right before the end of the half. Knocks it down. 40 to 29. It's Takatera. Jumper on the way. No good. Rebound. One by Kispert. One second left. Throws it up and that'll do it. We head to halftime with a bulldog. One of two from the line. Ten point game at 40 to 30. And Kispert, transition, layup is good. Corey Kispert with two more, he's got nines. Kispert, 10 feet away, some contact, no whistle. And Kispert, immensely better. Suggs creates that turnover. The 12th of the game for San Diego, and Kispert down the lane, the lay-in, and a whistle. And there's a good bucket by Yavuz Goltikin. The left hand, Kispert right at it, though, at the other end. Oh, the touch on that shot. Well, I think the charge call tonight, Gonzaga's guards the trio of them. Ayayi, Suggs, and Nemhart. You could even throw Kispert in the mix oh. as he nails the trail three. Those guards. <laughs> in the corner. But it, oftentimes these programs are being tested, right? A guy like Jalen Subs Suggs comes to Gonzaga. You know Chet Holmgren's looking at how it works out for Jalen. He is now in the mix recruiting-wise yeah. with other guys. The Paulo Banchero, a great player from Seattle, ended up signing with Duke. Chet Holmgren is is another one that you mentioned is the number one recruit. Uh, First good bucket. Parrish with three. Kispert, transition three open. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
But if you're if you you're US D, yeah, uh, if you're gonna go. nearly got that done, shot missed for Pepperdine. So here come the Zags. That extra pass to Kispert for three. They're going to call a push off on Anton Watson on Tan again. They're going straight into the body of the potential shot blocker, bounces him off you, creates enough space to finish. Kispert open for three. The run. Now what you have to do is settle yourself back down and not panic just because Gonzaga has stormed back and taken the lead. Little crossover move and Kispert just in and out. Timmy got the offensive rebate win for the Sooners. Andrew Nemhard and Gonzaga up by two on an 11-0 run. Kispert catch and shoot three. That's beautiful. Then I do on the perimeter in this game because of his ability to shoot over the top. It's not like Gonzaga has great length that can block a ton of shots in the paint. Zita gave Kispert just a little bit of room, and Pepperdine going to be a transition bucket, I thought, for the Zags. And Altman maybe got undercut. No whistle. Here comes Gonzaga. Three on two. Kispert open three. No. He didn't miss many of those. Really different back then in 2000. Like, St. Mary's was the, the, the basement of the WCC at the time. And that's just a testament to Randy Bennett and what he's been able to accomplish at St. Mary's to L League this year. It's a, it's a deeper league than it has been. Watson shoots a rare three. Okay, he showed us why he didn't shoot many of those. Kispert. <laughs> they count the basket and a foul. Kobe Ross hits the three. It's good to see after a hot start, he got into some foul issues, spent some time on the bench. He's now up to 14. Scored by Gonzaga in this game, and not a single player has attempted 10 shots. Now, Kispert has nine, but it is balanced throughout. Cook has seven. Nemhard has eight. Timmy has eight. I mean, they... Kobe Ross, Pepperdine senior point guard. In case you're just joining us early in this game, got to the two. Off balance shot. Ayayi with the rebound and the outlet quickly to Nemhard. Good hole just then. Another great bounce pass. And Kispert has it blocked down. That's going to be a goaltending by Shad. Sure will. <laughs> Question becomes like, how many possessions are they going to get if they don't? Pacific doesn't turn it over. I'd be careful with Bell on the floor too. Kispert with a catch and shoot to the floor just then gives him a little bit of an advantage and then gets the big guy moving neutral, neutralizing the height size Kisper trying to get going off the side of the rim no good and Bell will be credited with his ninth re careful yeah Make sure he doesn't go over the top for a rebound especially in a transition play like this Suggs looking for Kispert he's deadly from three in this sort of roll nice play just then. that in Shad also has two or three personal fouls he's not the offensive threat that Bell is and he's covering Timmy right now. Kispert for three. He's short. He's been off tonight. Floor. Valley for three. It's no good. And an easy rebound for Suggs. Yeah, a little sloppy on that set just then. And Kispert's going to get three oh. free. Oh, he's going to get a four-point play. Let's continue to look for Timmy on the blocks. Kispert to Cook. Cook puts it on the deck. Swings it to Kispert for three. And it is good. He got the roll. He may have found. Always, over the years, it has been the perfect foil. If you're going to slow down Gonzaga the way Randy likes to run his program, a little step back jumper, and that's good for Kispert. So compact. Next. There Literally. might be. There, Sometimes. I mean, there, there might not be a school in the country where the students are closer to the announcers than St. Mary's. Oh, another good. Defensive possession for the Gales. Force, I'm sure a little frustrated too by some missed opportunities on the offensive end. Quinn Clinton has come in for the Gales. Kispert floater came up short. And Fotu with the defensive board. Team rebounding right now. A great year last year for the West Coast Conference. And this year, they're trying to recapture some of that magic. Kispert cuts into the lane and flips up a little floater. Rattled out. Loose ball handled by the Gales. How many off game? Saxon had it picked. So the freshman's come in, missed a shot, and turned it over. Kispert, quick release three, too strong. Look at Timmy, he's open. They missed him. Kispert, in and out. Contested three. It, where are the back? Oh, now four of six shooting on the game. 
kind of been their best offensive player. There's Kispert. He's going to try to get himself going. Look at those first two possessions for what Minnesota was able to do against Michigan in particular at the defensive end of the floor. But it, the balance is, is certainly there. I think with the strength of schedule, though, that Gonzaga has played, and it's the number one strength basket for St. Mary's. Yeah, this one's not over. Kispert curls into the three and came up short. And we got an injured player down. Kyle Bowen, who... Two twenty-four, the advantage in the paint and that from way outside the paint Corey Kispert for three a big seed have more assists if some open shots have been knocked down Kispert three there's the answer from Corey Kispert cannot give him an open look Guy will attack and instead of challenging harms finds Kispert again this time a little bit short Long rebound. Gonzaga will get a third chance at it, and they score. You have to clean up your off Gonzaga, and ultimately took him down. Kispert bounces it to Drew Timmy, who scoops it in with a foul. This great job. Interesting memory so far of this WCC tournament. I've never seen so much blood on a court. <laughs> That's more memorable than Barcelo's reverse layup last night or Colby Ross hit it in from way outside. They're shooting 70% from beyond the arc. They're 7 of 10, Dave. Timmy goes to work against Harms, even without a whistle scored. One bugaboo here in this first half. Duke has just had it stripped away by Watson. Suggs in transition, glided right past the defense. And you well done that move and another shot around the rim. No good Kispert and the Zags running again Ayayi out on the break Ayayi flips it up and in The one thing about Gonzaga Jalen Suggs is upset at himself for not finishing after coming up with that steal Mark Pope called him Deion Sanders on the defensive end <laughs> He is he's such a ball hawking defense of you know, even without the fans there, you still have to play Gonzaga when you come here. And BYU's found that out of the first half. That's a good sign for the Cougars. Alex Barcelo, they got to get him going. That did, did not make a three-point shot. Second in the USA. So now Gonzaga with the basketball for the first time. Little run out ball screen slip and tacking that rim. Yeah, Watson able to lay it in. Send it. What did Tony Bennett say to us the other day? He said, I'm still working on my rotation in a lot of ways. A lot of young people, there's that open middle, the ability to get to the rim. Watch. Suggs. Nice Ayayi. Marcel with a nice job on Suggs. Dribble drive. Ayayi for three. It's good. Three. Is that a healthy rebound? Today? Absolutely. Absolutely. Because if the referees are going to give it to you, you, you yeah. should take it. You'd be foolish not to. Nemhard for three and the lead grows. It's great that they have a small group team of spectators. It's all family and immediate members for both programs there to be able to celebrate their son's athletic achievements. This goes about his business. I mean, just yep. We, we're, we're hardly talking about it. He's five of seven and has 13 points in this game. Playing beautifully. Nemhard three oh. from the corner. So there, there's their first here. Um, is that they can coast and they could still be up by this margin you know you wonder when the intensity picks back up how can they go or earlier this week against byu gonzaga made a little switch in the starting lineup nemhard in watson will come off the bench both guys played well timmy scores again and what did you say rinse and repeat Boy, one of the big things you notice, and I talked about this with Dick last night in the Kansas-Kentucky game, it's obvious, but when there are no fans in the before that. Still a 17-5 score. Nebhar. <laughs> it's like this. Such a solid, sound basketball player. Extra pass. Kispert to Ayayi for three. Oh, that, that's what makes them, I think. They're very unselfish, wrecking coaching. And it is just older, it seems to be, you know? Pretty. Austin, that's a tough take. It sure was. Suggs for Kispert. 
Around the screen, Kispert for Timmy. Bumped here by Rodriguez. I tell you what, Ben Pyle's got a jump shot. Six foot seven inch, former Mr. Kansas basketball. He's got three threes. Count the bucket though at the other end. To the Gonzaga Bulldogs now. We talked about them a couple weeks ago. I know you've you spent a lot of time around Evan Mobley lately. Uh, so when you're looking at the top of your draft board, has anything shifted or changed in your top three or flashes at home? It's a seven point lead, largest of the game. Yeah, you get you know at this particular point, they're going to make Gonzaga think a little bit. Nice dish down too for Timmy just then. That's the way to continue to pound that. Top players in the high school realm. Well, depending on his future, they'll want to play with him. That's for sure. Absolutely. There There's Timmy, and he's fouled with a two-handed slam. Look at the reaction. But to make the right play, and it's it's really a pleasure to watch Colby Ross play basketball. 38 in a game against USC last season. 33 in a game earlier this year against UCL. This is even. Both these teams are tough. Baylor is is tough physically and mentally. So is Gonzaga. Hustle is even. Both these teams are competitors. Uh, Go-to guys. I, I would give a, an edge to Kispert. That guy makes it easy for everybody. Absolutely. Because if you play him one-on-one, -on -one, he's got a variety of moves he can go to inside. And this team is so unselfish. His son comes right back with the triple and having them around and being part of uh, this experience for said they play it straight too they don't give them a hard time most times three-pointer for the sideline is good Nemhart. game and half a dozen rebounds as well full zone by iowa yep and mixing it up as well ball off from the baseline how about that big fella a little short corner. good and the drought is a little more than three and a half minutes for the hawkeyes Suggs for three again. Yes. So look how quick they get it up and down the court, though. Loose ball. Ayayi tips into the hands Watch of Kispert. Yep, Watch there out. goes Nemhart running the floor and laying it in. Oh, they are so, so good in Kansas. Yeah, you never see him really rush. Yeah, you probably were, because he's so strong. And you alluded to the work ethic. There's, you'd be hard to press to find somebody with the kind of work ethic he has. And Suggs connects some openings. Kispert, Timmy, high post against Garza. Turn yeah, you can't play behind him. I mean, it's much the same with Garza. I mean, you can't Watch over the top. Six-point Zag lead. Ayayi, Gonzaga's first attempt from downtown goes. Well, so much initial action. 18 points. Watson, good catch in traffic. And he's been better inside. I think early in the year he was just... Yeah, young man who had a good game uh, against San Diego the other day. He's getting more time. He's only a sophomore. Namar knocks it down. No imagine, sir, but we... Chris Paul. Okay. He is unbelievable. Nice cut. Namhart left hands good. That's what we talked about. This team loves pass. Just have to limit easy baskets, which is not easy to do when you have the ability to pass the ball the way their top six or seven guys can. And one. And I don't know that they're going to add one to the list this year. I mean, that's the type of thing we could sit here and talk about it all day, and he's just... First rounder, if he goes back to school, there he is cutting. He's incredible moving off the ball. I think that's where he's improved during his time at Gonzaga. He's had to fit in alongside other really, really good guards, and that wasn't always the case when I. I'm 1 2 2, especially with their link. They can really create some havoc. Well, I thought for a second there, open up, up some driving lanes for the rest of the pilots. Pilots love the pick and roll. They love the high pick. We'll see how much the pilots switch. And that was just too easy inside for Timmy. That time the reverse is true. And they Two defensive beauties by Timmy. That was great effort by Timmy. And then he runs to the floor, does his work early. Come Play on, up. come on. The last 30 seconds. All right, Francis, Ayayi is one assist away from a triple-double. It's just a matter of time. Inside look again off the wheel layup drill Kispert finds and He has big game potential for him. I mean we we talk about it over and over again, but he has put up big numbers 
this year. And he answers with a three of his own. Uh, they need to get him going from the outside because he can really punish you. Kispert had his pocket pick. Johnson flips it to Averitt. Gonzaga got. Jalen Suggs to Kispert, who was trailing on the break, and that one actually caromed off of Corey Kispert and out of bounds. There is Mark Few, 22nd yeep up offensively. Kispert pass got knocked away, and St. Mary's comes up with a steal. Go State, whether it was a Dayton, even a Rutgers, and Steve Peichel's team you know, going to the NCAA tournament a year ago, even though they're going to make it this year. You know, there was a lot of stories that were lost. Quintana's done a pretty good job of sticking with Kispert, and now the steal. Scott took it away. Two on one. Scott, awkward. Is the runner. Timmy has the rebound. Bulldogs want to push in transition. Timmy down the lane, lost it, or rather Kispert lost it, and that's a turnover. Back-to-back -back possessions from Gonzaga. Arms runner, and they're going to call an offensive foul. Now this start couldn't be any worse for BYU. And a lot of that has to do with Mark Few, who has done a little less than he would like. Percentage-wise, been pretty hard on himself, according to Tony Pettit. Nice denial. Yeah, beautiful take by the Cavaliers. Cedric.
Shot clock down to five. Favorite finds Harding, who had his three rejected. Kispert blocked with Jimmy behind you because he got poked in the eye or whatever happened at the other end of the floor. And instead, you turn it over with a lazy pass. And Jarrett Culver, as far as getting him going offensively, he just said to me, I guess I have to coach better. 3 of 10, knocked away, Kispert out of bounds. Basically been able to go wherever they want on offense. Our conferences would benefit by having quad one wins if they play well quad one and two teams. Yes, Sean, we were talking.
I would have liked to see Jalen Suggs attack Matt Harms off the bounce. That's where your, your advantage is going to be your speed, not shooting over the length. Too strong. Loner, though, went high for the offensive rebound. Harms, is he going to take it? Yes. Is he going to make success defensively? Suggs had his shot blocked, and then Harvard landed right on top of him. Here's a quick three. Nell. No, he made Got the ball inside to one of those mismatches. Ayayi, though, gave it up. That's a sloppy turnover. Averett, three. Shot clock winding down. Brandon Averett against the big man. Got to get a shot off. Nell does. No good. Rebound. Him. He's hardly missed a shot from the field. Harms. Loner just tapped it out to Nell. Open corner three. Not in college basketball. Not just this year. What a program. Gideon George three. No. Re Mark Sons were, were out of the floor shooting around before we came in. And during games, they would be right behind the bench. It's a family yeah, by the way, community. They were about idea. two at that point. Ignorant on that one. But I and and look, you made a good point. They've played Garza. They've played Josh Huff. They've played McCormick of Kansas. That three from the last timeout. Frankich calling for the ball, and he unloads from the outside. Ball's tapped out. Hard rim run. If you don't get it early in transition, turn and seal your defender on your hip and provide an angle for the guard to deliver the ball. Frankich a quick trigger. Coach kind of planted the seeds. Dan Munson and obviously Mark Few took. Carol Williams ran that motion offense and designed it. And Dan Fitzgerald. 28 points on 11 for 12 shooting from the floor against the Dons. Well, he was excellent against San Francisco. They didn't have anybody to guard him. I think his best performance is still just throwing it in the post. In fact, it's largely driving into the paint and getting layups. We've seen it from Timmy, and now we've seen it from Ayayi as well. It's driving and, and getting into style, and he plays with an edge to him as well. Yeah, that edge, you know, he's a he's a gamer. You know, he competes, and he competes all the time. I mean, I think one of the, the great things about this can Found his teammate Rodriguez. Second, if you watch the ball for a second, they're all capable of back cutting. Finding a seam and, and getting away. He'll look a little better than that. That was almost an air ball. Whatever, it's a free throw. <laughs> First is in. Whoa. They cannot stop him. Drew Timmy's got 12 of their 14 in the first six minutes of this. Ten chickens. And he goes, good. And I said, I'm on air. And he goes running back down the hall. <laughs> he walled up, kept verticality the entire time. In the hypothetical scenario that there were actually fans at this game or at the Warriors game tonight. You're exactly and, right, Dave. And, and I think that, that the people also need to remember, this is a San Francisco team that beat Virginia. Who earlier he used to get expanded out is how dialed in are you to compete at this end of the floor? Because it's easy to... Because no team in the country scores faster, more beautifully in transition. Then Gonzaga Suggs, I think he got run. Marcello shoots the three. That one was way off the mark. And Kispert grabs aboard the Zags. One. Drew Timmy on that first possession, they scored really quick. All of a sudden, they're starting getting back to their rhythm of how they want to play. Arms rushed that one. He had a great lane. So that time, elevating up with the block. Alex Barcelo, the leader of this BYU team. No, here comes Kispert. And Gideon George, three, no, rebound, Kispert snatches it away. An uncontested layup against this team, or it's going the other way. Logan Johnson, open three, no good. The tournament looking to enter the NCAA tournament undefeated. St. Mary's got to get a shot off. They do with Kyle Bowen, and that comes up way short. One thing about him came very nicely. Here's Johnson, who was the one guy for St. Mary's in their quarterfinal win who could put the ball. They're going to make it this year. You know, there was a lot of stories that were lost, and now we have an opportunity to really celebrate these players in this moment. It's me, Justin Moore from Villanova. You look at Joe Wiescamp from uh, Iowa turning his ankle yesterday. Kate.
Leia Pepe will kick it back to Eli Scott, who is off the ball. Eli Scott does everything well, but he's not. Check it out. Streams on the app. Very, very well done. That move and another shot around the rim. No good. Kispert in the Zags has been hurt in his Gonzaga career, but healthy now and playing well. There's Jalen Anderson. Had a good look. Here come the Zags at LMU. Poked in the eye or whatever happened at the other end of the floor. And instead, you turn it over with a lazy pass. Free Kispert should be the guy. And that's fine. I mean, that's the, by the way, that's the only award on that whole list that you could argue. Williams open again. Williams short on the three. And this is where Gonzaga likes to get Clara up just a little bit. Make non-ball handlers make decisions. Caruso misses the three. Kispert trees. Picks his way back out, launches, and misses. Conley had a nice first half, but I don't know if that are. Live ball turnovers. That's something that keeps a lot of college coaches up at night. Back, everything he's done in the offseason has pointed him towards the NBA. All the drills, all the work. We're on and on for bigs. My local regional broadcast partner, Richard Fox, would like to be in that conversation, but sorry, Richard. I are going to be able to pick and pop and then put the ball on the deck with either your right or left hand and get all the way to the basket with one dribble. Drew Tim Dave, not only does it change year to year, it changes within the game. I mean, when they take and they put Anton Watson in, they're very proud of what her son is accomplishing. And I, I'm so happy for these parents uh, to be back there this week. We saw it with Jalen Crutcher's parents last night. It was actually packed, as it always is, with one of the best student sections in all of the country. Well, the ECU then went to Rice, now at San Diego. Third stop along the line for Josh Parrish. And I, and I think that's a dip we would have if we refocusing on what we're, what we're doing here. Um, is that they can coast and they could still be up by this margin. I cannot allow Gonzaga to get multiple looks on a single possession. Gideon George starting his second game. He Loner got cut off by Kispert. Good defense by Kispert. Shot clock winding down. Avery step back three. Kispert blocked with ants. At least he was over on the sideline. This game means a lot to Coach Few. He wants this WCC championship. That's a BYU turnover. Played his best basketball against the best opponents. Look at the on-ball defense, Dave. Just hounding Barcelo. He found a way to get it to Harms. Missed another one. Dramatic and fun as it is, is that it is a single elimination that you can lose and your whole season, all your dreams. And the thing about Timmy is he's so patient. He understands angles when he's posting up. At that time, he understood the defense. A little head, shake, head fake, get him in the air. This looks like a team that's just happy to be out of all of the COVID of the two months in Santa Cruz. Laura Ontario and Ryan is heading to Creighton next year. And there's Bouncing really, the there's really no... You know, Dan, there's really nobody that can do things well on each possession. And as long as they're continuing to compete, and if they do make mistakes, they're mistakes of commission rather than omission. His dad was an All-American running back at Alabama. Yeah, Bobby Humphrey was a great player. His brother is one of the best defensive backs in the NFL right now. Marion was a go underway in the second half, and the top-line players out there for the Zags. We'll see how long that lasts. Toreros need to do a whole this one. We are heading up the Does ladder. Does make sweats? They do. I'm sure they do. I mean, you would know. Brockwell working on Kispert. Got inside with a right hand. Pretty little move. In. Team 22 remaining in the first half. Substitutions in for San Diego. The trail. 19-20 Bulldogs. Whistle, carry, turnover on young USD. Sullivan deep, three, good! Top five pick, guaranteed. Yeah. No Kobe Ross on the floor at the moment for Pepperdine. Where's the offense going to come from? Polk fade away. A bit more off the bounce. So uh, this is a, a really talented, kind of deep top five, and I think Suggs is right in that mix as well. 
Andrew Nemhard knocks down a 3-4 Gonzaga. That make sure that you get a good shot right here in this possession. You don't want this to kind of get a little bit of momentum roll going back to Gonzaga. Rockwell trying to end the fight. That pass had no chance of getting through two players. That's an instinct play by a seasoned team, but it wasn't there. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Crockerel into the paint. Throw bucket, easy one. And get your center to run it and lead it. Keeps that stretch of a 21 point average the last seven games. So one and two. They were supposed to play. They couldn't play. They might still play. Who knows? Jay Billis gives us a tale of the tape on these two heavyweights. Off the pick. Davis floating. Athletically. Side ball reversals and see if they can find a, a seam to attack. Due to Brown, banked it in. I'm trying to think of an analogy that I could use for that. Like, working a long day in construction. Because of his size, but more importantly, his willingness to throw the ball up ahead to his wings. Brankich denied. Athletic achievements. Let's face it, they're sick of watching you and me. Kispert That's with not the steal. True. Nobody is. It's an accurate and good at solid analysis. Also, so is this. Uh, Jalen Suggs quietly just goes about his business. I mean, just yep. guys are standing around. And if you're not moving and forcing the defense to have to rotate and chip, I mean, that is a heck of a move. But you're, okay, well, let's run this and see if we can get this action. Until somebody stops that, I go back to that. The team that I could find, our research I had to go back today. Go 72-73. The UCLA Bruins played five straight games as the number one team on. There's Fong Allen, James Naismith, who we have to thank for us being here. Nice drive and finish. Wilson, rebound, Thompson. And your point is well taken. Them part sees people. Thompson, the pull-up pop. Nicely done. Easy, up top. Inside drive, lost the ball to bounds to San Diego. Say it again, Tom, too. I think Bell just has to be very careful. Yeah. Make sure he doesn't go over the top for a rebound. You saw Patrick McCaffrey come in for his brother, Connor. Free throw line jumper for Wieska.
is so good. His court vision and awareness is elite. It's different. But Barcelo left him in the dust there uh, at St. Mary's, at home against Santa Clara, and now tonight the three times that they've trailed by double digits. Arms. Well, I thought he could have. One of the things that BYU's done a good job is they're taking away the movement off the ball. You're not seeing any of those typical backdoor cuts that we've seen. There's a good. Biggest Zags lead has been two. They've hardly led in this game. Barcelo air. Harvard against Watson this time. Ayayi came over and Harvard passed out of it. Here's Nell. He'll go all the way to scoop it in. Oh, BYU needs that one. They need something. Nell, will he try one? No. Averitt's going to go to the bucket. Miss the layup. Low spacing. Ayayi able to dial it up. Kuzi again into the lane and again just could. A very short period of time during a pandemic. WCC standings. You got... Gonzaga, BYU, who's third? LMU. Maybe being an undefeated champion, first that we'd see in college basketball since 1976. That is not the goal of the Gonzaga Bulldogs, is to be undefeated. That with Barza. We've seen it with Derek Culver of West Virginia. We've seen bigs. Uh, David McCormick of Kansas, obviously he's playing on these long shots, are, are running to go rebound instead of boxing out, initiating contact with their guy, and tracking where the ball is going. 37 against Santa Clara, just bullied them a week ago in a big win. I mean, he's done a tremendous job, too, of getting in shape. People that you're around that have success, the more you're able to take and go, okay, I really like this aspect of their program, I want to incorporate that. Zero dribbles after the one dribble by Jalen Suggs before he decided to drop it off between his legs. And you know how hard that is to react defensively, Dave? Caruso. Rosanna Clara has life in these legs. Frankich, soft touch. How about this? Horatio on the season. It's such a luxury that Gonzaga has with him to help take a lot of the pressure off Suggs. Tomley gets up and over Kispert. For... Caruso just hit one. Gets in the lane. Contact, no whistle. Great catch. Fourth, fifth in the net rankings. I really like that Illinois team. Io DeSumo. Oh, wow! Off the inbound. But with all that they've had to overcome, they're finally starting to play like they should be playing. Caruso from Brankage missed the shot and then collapsing. Dan Marley. Thunder Dan. Thunder Dan. Well, if you're not going to value the basketball, if you're not going to jump stop, be solid on two, be on balance, and deliver that pass on time and on target with two hands, and yeah, it's a pretty good percentage. I mean, he is as dominant. efficient as any player right now that, that is in college basketball, period. I'm going to say something. Timmy has a very strong case for National Player of the Year. I do. What did they go about doing it? They struggle a little bit more when they're not knocking down their perimeter shot. Alcatara, they closed out on him. That's awesome. I need that sent to me, Sean. Eric Bozeman. You need to send that to me as fast as possible. I'm putting that out on all my social media. Are you kidding me? I think somebody else is going to. He had a tremendous game against the Dons in Spokane. Bouye missed the shot. Out of bounds. Not a great yeah. start. Not good. Chabaz does steal it away from Kispert. He's going to try to take it all away. Had his shot blocked. He's asking for goal 10. Catch. If you are not, that's exactly what's going to happen. BYU is using a different lineup here of late. They turn it over, and now the Zags out. Well, simply not getting blown out early by the Zags is a victory. I mean, they have been such a quick starting team. Kispert, nice hands on. Now, uh, is he going to be in the same likeness of, you know, what we've seen from, like, a Sabonis? No, probably spot because of his size, but more importantly, his willingness to throw the ball up ahead to his wings. Frankich denied. This looks like a team that's just happy to be out of all of the COVID of the two months in Santa Cruz. Yeah, highlighted three of those Gonzaga starters, Sean, in your open. And one of the players that we didn't even get to is the rain on the opening possession with the cleanest look he's had. And Watson lays it in off the bounce pass from Ayayi. He cannot trade. Ontario and Ryan is heading to Creighton next year. And there's Bouncing really, the there's top really no, you know, Dan, there's really nobody that can. Josh Parrish trying to drive it in close. Here's the guy they call the squirrel. The squirrel lost his acorn underneath players. 
ahead of his time. Ben Sullivan tried to touch pass it to Masalski, but that athletic achievements. Let's face it, they're sick of watching you and me. Kispert That's with not the steal. Nobody is. To the wing and an easy dump down. That was, that was as easy as it comes. Jimmy got a hand on the inbound pass and forced the turnover. Okay, well, let's run this and see if we can get this action. Until somebody stops that, I go back to that. Gave him the basket. Yes, I can. What? It just softly lands on the bucket, Dan. Oh, you're talking fishing now. No, no. Oh, a butterfly. Yeah. I got See Michelle faster. Well, it, it, it's, it's obviously the talent, the coaching, uh, but it's just older. It's and now Justin Morrow had 18 points off the bench against BYU, and Bell lost it. That doesn't happen often. Finn Stoon with an easy rebound. And Bailey lost control. And Kessler Redwards way too strong with a three. A fresh possession, though, now for the Waves, but not for long. That's one I've got isolated camera on. Luca Garza and Drew Timmy, both very skilled and active big guys. A little too hard. Try to get it inside Nemhard with a deflection. Kisper. That they know that Gonzaga's going to bring. O2 with the drive, had it stripped away, out of bounds. Five to shoot. Malik Fist bounces it to Jordan Ford. He's going to have to force one up. Lost it. Kispert with a takeaway. It's Trushev. And then it's rejected. Oregon the other way. Pritchard lost the handle. Kispert. And now Ayayi. Team can continue a nice run of play that they've been on. McCray unable to control it into Finn Student. Here's Kiss. Wasn't necessarily doing a lot of other things that were, you know, helping GU's cause. I think now he's just, he's just much more versatile. Interesting question. Well, I would definitely say he's the front runner. The only child's making a late push. But some people. Last game that uh, San Francisco led, he did not play. So you're getting a chance to see Killian Tilly. Man, the speed. So he, they are every bit the nightmare he told us they would be. Too emotional. And Coach Dunlap, his experience in the NBA, and he's able to control guys' emotions and get them to play in the right space. Another turnover. Tremendous job. It'll be interesting to see how Todd Golden at USF begins to build that program up back up as well. But if you love basketball, you've got to love Spokane. Johansson can't dribble through traffic. Kiss. Who moves his feet for a big man? That's what scouts love about him. He can switch off to guards. Good to start the proceedings. You know, a good aggressive attack of the basket by Kispert. Here's the turnover. Can't have those. And it's over. Gonzaga's going to score on the other end. Coleman. Kispert. The beauty of a piece. You just take it <laughs> off and you shake the water out of it and you put it back on. Ball taken away here. Here's Ross. He gave it up. In fact, he threw it away. And they get it all the way across midcourt to LeGrand. And he works on Kispert. Loose ball. Dave, I'm not sure Kispert would have taken because he had a hand up. And now he's got to take those shots. Those are good shots. He's 6'7. Gets to, to when he gets back, win some games. Well, they're going to win games. I mean, I think they want to win games when he's, you know, when he's out. Yeah. Uh, but look, I said including, but okay. not limited to. What? Hmm. Huh. Turnover by Washington. Offensive play. Kistler got his hands in there. Knocked it away.